Skin cancer, like cancer in other organs of the body, is the result of the uncontrolled abnormal growth of cells. The transformation of normal skin cells into skin cancer has a variety of causes, the most common being sun exposure, family history, and ethnicity. When the cells of the skin begin to grow in an uncontrolled abnormal fashion, a tumor will result. This tumor is malignant. A malignant tumor is considered a cancer and should be removed to prevent the possible invasion and destruction of surrounding normal tissue or spread of the cancer to other organs of the body. This is known as metastasis. Fortunately, metastasis of skin cancer is not common. Basal cell carcinoma, BCC, is the most common type of skin cancer in the United States. Approximately one million cases of BCC occur annually. About 80% of all skin cancer cases are BCC the slowest growing and least dangerous of the three common types of skin cancer, and it rarely metastasizes. BCC develops from the cells in the epidermis, the surface layer of the skin known as the basal cell layer. Basal cell carcinoma may have many different appearances. It most commonly appears as a small pearly skin colored bump or nodule. Basal cell carcinoma can also appear as a flat growth, a scar, or scaling area. Untreated, basal cell carcinomas may begin to bleed, crust over, and spread into surrounding tissue, leading to more extensive surgery and scarring. Squamous cell carcinoma, SCC, is the second most common type of skin cancer in the United States. Approximately 200,000 cases occur annually. SCC is responsible for about 16% of all skin cancer cases. This cancer develops from cells in the epidermis known as squamous cells. Squamous cell carcinomas are more dangerous than BCC because they have a greater tendency to recur after surgery and to metastasize to other organs in the body. It often appears as a red nodule or rough scaling patch. Malignant melanoma, MM, is a life-threatening skin cancer that develops from the pigment-forming cells in the skin. It often presents as a black or brown mole. It can also include other irregular colors such as red, white, blue, and gray. Malignant melanoma is the least common of the three types of skin cancers, but it is the most dangerous because it has a strong tendency to metastasize to distant organs. It start as small bumps on the skin that slowly or sometimes rapidly enlarge. These bumps are usually pain-free and may have been present for a period greater than two weeks. Skin cancers frequently undergo periods of ulceration and bleeding followed by healing, then a repeat of this cycle. Your dermatologist should examine any skin lesion that has a history of bleeding. Skin cancers may have a variety of appearances. They may be flesh colored, waxy or pearly, red scaly patches, large tumor masses, or sores that do not heal. A biopsy may be required to determine if the skin lesion is in fact a skin cancer. Skin cancers frequently invade surrounding normal tissue, causing extensive destruction of skin and bodily structures. Many cancers may form roots or fingers of diseased tissue that can extend beyond the boundaries of the visible cancer. Cancers that are most likely to form these complicated root systems are located in cosmetically sensitive or functionally critical areas around the ears, eyes, nose, lips, and scalp. Located in areas where excess tissue is minimal, such as the fingers and genitals, or where circulation is poor. Cancers that grow rapidly and or uncontrollably or are cancers that have been previously treated. Mohs micrographic surgery is the most precise method for skin cancer removal with the highest cure rates. Mohs micrographic surgery is effective for most types of skin cancer. However, it is most commonly used to treat basal and squamous cell carcinomas. In recent years, we have seen an increase in skin cancer rates. One of the major risk factors that can be controlled is sun exposure. It is important to keep exposed skin out of direct sun and to use a good sunscreen on exposed skin when you are in open daylight for more than a few minutes. Damage to the skin is cumulative. The best prevention is to protect your skin from direct sunlight as much as possible. Sunburns are the leading cause of skin cancer. Tanning is the skin's defense response to the skin's damaging rays, ultraviolet light, but tanning does not prevent skin cancer. One severe sunburn can increase your risk of skin cancer by as much as 50%. Sun damage to the skin accumulates over many years of exposure and about 90% of sun-induced skin cancer occurs in the areas that have the greatest exposure, namely the head, neck, 
and forearms. People with a family history of skin cancer are at an increased risk for developing skin cancer. Individuals with fair complexions develop skin cancer more frequently than those with dark skin. In cancer, you are likely to develop another in the years ahead. To minimize your problems with skin cancer, you should be evaluated frequently for new suspicious lesions on your skin.